Hi, I'm Chad Warner, founder of Optimize, and I'd like to show you how to create redirects using the redirection plugin for WordPress. You can find that at wordpress.org slash plugins slash redirection. So I've already installed it on the site, and it appears under Tools, Redirection. And you can scroll to the bottom of that page, and you'll get to this part where you can add new redirects. So let's go through a few examples. So let's say that I had uh, on my site optimize.com slash work. And let's say that's the, where we had our portfolio. So the source URL, there's no need to put in the, the first part of the address. Even if I did type it in, redirection would just strip that out because it knows, yeah, we're already on optimize.com. So whatever your domain is, you don't need to type it. If you do, it's fine. The plugin would just strip that out. So what we're looking for is slash work because that is the old URL. And then what we want to do instead is send that over to now. These are at portfolio. So we want, uh, if anyone was going to work, we want to send them over to portfolio. All right. So the source is what you're trying to match, the incoming URL. And then target is where you want to send them. So we're going to match that URL. We're going to redirect over to the URL. So these are just the defaults. Um, there are groups. Redirections is the default. You can create other redirect. Uh, redirection groups if you want to group them together. Uh, for now, I'm just going to say default. I'm going to say add a redirection, and it appears right up here. All right, it's a 301 redirect, uh, which is what I want, and I could go and edit this if I needed to change anything here. We can see, yes, the plugin did strip out that optimize.com, which is fine, and uh, the target's there. So if we ever wanted to change this in the future, you can do that. You can also get to some extra settings here with the gear, and so you can make whatever edits you need to. Okay, so that's a simple 301 redirect. All right, so now let's uh, look at another 301 redirect, but this time we're going to use a, um, a simple regular expression. So regular expression is basically a pattern that's being matched. So let's say that we uh, this time we have optimize.com, um, and we're going to have subscribe. And I'm going to put a uh, question mark here at the end. And what that does is... Um, because people could type this with a slash, or they may not. You know, some people just hit type subscribe and hit enter. Others will put the trailing slash, and we want it to work either way. So to be safe, uh, we can put a question mark, and that will say uh, whether they type the slash or not. Go ahead and capture that, and then redirect it. Okay, so we're going to send them over to portfolio again. All right, now because I want this to be a regular expression, I want it to match this pattern, I need to check this box for regular expression. Otherwise, it will not capture that. All right, so go ahead and add that. And we now get our redirect with a simple regular expression. Now let's do one that's a little bit more complex. So this is going to be another uh, 301 redirect, but this time a more complex regular expression. So let's say that inside of um, optimize.com slash work, we had a bunch of other pages underneath that. So maybe we had uh, slash work slash Ron Meyer excavating would be one of the projects, uh, or slash Geenan and Colleen. So the, the individual projects are all appearing underneath work. So we had you know something like so I've got something like that. You know, it, it could that could be one of the projects. So there's a whole bunch of them that could appear underneath this. And I want to just capture them all. I don't want to create a redirect for every single one. I just want to capture everything that appears underneath work and send it over to the same place under portfolio. All right, so how would we do that? So after work, I'm going to do open parentheses dot star or asterisk and close parentheses. And what this does is it just captures everything that comes after work. Could be one character, could be many characters, a whole pair, a whole phrase, anything at all that appears after work, it's going to capture all that. And we want to keep this as a, a regular expression because we're matching a pattern. And now what I want to do is send it over to portfolio, but then to the same place. So what I want to do is grab the uh, the first item there. So basically, it's uh, the dollar sign one here stands for whatever appears here. Okay. So in the case of uh, Ron Meyer excavating, it would just plop Ron Meyer excavating in place here. So essentially, all it's doing is replacing the word work with the word portfolio. And now uh, no matter what comes after work, it will redirect over to that same uh, string following portfolio. Okay, so I can add that redirection. 
Right. So then that will apply for a whole bunch of them. Now this works pretty well for um, things like referral links, affiliate links as well. Uh, so you can actually do this without putting some kind of a variable like the dollar sign one like I did there. Uh, so for example, we can do something like on our site, we do affiliate links as slash go and then the name. So flywheel is our favorite WordPress host. So we've got an affiliate link that's set up for slash go slash flywheel. And I'm going to again put in my match anything. Uh, and so the, the way that this is valuable is because, um, you know, this might appear in a MailChimp email and MailChimp might add its own tracking code to it. Uh, it might appear, we might post this through Buffer, and so Buffer is going to shorten the URL and, and do some um, adding of, of some tracking code to it. So we want to make sure that uh, even if this is shared in some platforms that are going to append some kind of um, parameters to the URL for tracking purposes, that it's not going to break our affiliate link. It's, we're, it's still going to work as we want it to. So we're going to capture anything that comes after that. And then we just want to go ahead and send that all over to our Flywheel affiliate link. So now notice I'm sending this to somewhere that's not even on the optimized domain, and that's fine. You can send people outside of your site. So this is the unique affiliate link that we have for Flywheel. So I'm going to paste that in. So no matter where we share this, no matter what gets added to the end, as long as the first part is optimize.com slash go slash Flywheel, it'll send, us over, send them over to our affiliate link. So I can go ahead and add that redirect. All right, so those are some examples of where you can go and create redirects on your site. If you'd like to learn more about working with a WordPress site, you can find us at optimize.com.